welcome back to the channel and this is an interesting vlog I'm going to attempt to make the Jaws clapperboard so when Jaws was made um, it had a very cool clapperboard this so I'm going to try and make it but it's not going to be that easy especially for me because I'm a bit thick but if you can see there so I've got my wood but I'm going to need a thicker bit to go over the top and I need to cut groove in it I don't have a router or a router don't have one of them router router however you're going to say it so I'm going to have to try and do that and then it's got some doweling as well so I've got my doweling I've got my wood I've got an old chopping board that I'm going to use for the top because it's thicker so while I make it I just thought I'd bring you along see how it goes I'm really really bad at cutting straight as in I don't cut straight so this won't be neat like this no mine's gonna be like proper wonky but it'll make it unique so yeah let's see how it goes wish me luck here is the board that I've cut quite impressed with how straight that is because it's not straight but it's straighter than what I usually do so what I did was I marked it and then I put tape along it and I just slowly went next to the tape but it'll do like I say I'm not good at cutting straight whatsoever so I did cut it and then I had to cut some more off because I needed to allow for the teeth to go here so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut this bit and um, see how that goes So here is the top of the board, it's taken me so much working out to do this but it's still all guesswork so I don't know if it's the right height or what but as long as I'm happy with it that's all that matters. Um, so I'm going to cut this out, this bit will just be gone because I'm going to have to cut in each bit separate and then do another one for the other side. It's all learning though. Here is, I shall show you. So this bit is that bottom bit right there. This bit. So we're going to glue this to this bit. I'm one handed at minute, yeah, so it's gonna be like, you know, like that. But yep, yeah, it's coming along. I'm well impressed with that, that worked out well. So, yes, I'm gonna glue these bits together now. So, there it is with the groove. So, I'll be gluing that into there, but first, I'm just gonna do the corners on this then I'll glue it together then I'll show you okie dokie so there it is my curves I must say I'm very impressed with um, how well it's looking so far but all could change so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to glue that onto there and then come back to it tomorrow because I'm going to leave it to dry overnight uh, we'll sun these down a little bit but yeah not looking too shabby this is the piece I've just been holding this piece so when I've put the doweling in I've had to drill the holes for the doweling uh, I needed to drill a little bit I needed to drill a bigger hole so it slides up and down because this is the bit where it's going to slide up and down so 
the holes had to be big um it hasn't split the wood there but it is very very close so i've just added this extra bit and i'm going to glue this on trim it so it'll be this thick if you do look in the other pictures it is quite thick so Ooh. looks like something from saw doesn't it so we're going to leave that to set then i'll trim it <clears throat> and then we can glue it onto here So yeah, it was all going so well, but I just want it to be right because if it's not right, it's not worth doing, is it? So there we are. Progress so far. I've sorted that one out, filed it, well, sanded it a bit more. And now I'm on to the top part. So that sits, that sits on the board there. This will go on the top there. So the main challenge is getting the teeth to match them I do have the other teeth here but I don't know we'll see so I'm just waiting for that to dry a bit and then we'll cut the teeth out so there is the bottom bit I've cut the top bit I'm just hoping it fits let's try it hey do you know what there's gaps but I'm quite happy with that. There's like big gaps here. But you know what? I really don't mind because Yeah, that'll do me. Yang, 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 yang. But you can hold it up. If you have it open don't even know that there's gaps there cracking here are the jaws done um, I'm gonna fill this bit around here I've just drilled the holes in there for the dowel and I'm just gonna cut the dowel as well I just need to see how long the dowel is There we are. So the dowel goes just a bit down, not halfway. So I'll cut the dowel and I'll uh, come back to you. So here's the jaws. I've put the dowel in, um, I've glued it in as you can see right there. Just need to wait for that to set. Um, I'm going to just go in there with a the filler because this wood is just so soft it's just breaking but I wasn't going to give up I was determined to use it so yeah we'll see how that goes so fast forward quite a while I've had a bit of uh, trouble with this so that's why I just cracked on with it I've had to redo some holes because they were going like that rather than straight um, it's now glued so much there bit of filler in there I've put this on I've glued that I'm hoping if this wood will allow this wood rubbish if I ever did another one I would not use this wood it splits for fun so if I can I'd like to just get a couple of pins in there but I'm just gonna leave it like that settling for now I'm gonna take the measurements of my board and then get this right and sorted while I'm inside so there we are it has not been easy this but hopefully it'll be worth it in the end yeah so there we go as you can see a lot of sanding has been involved nightmare that's why also why I haven't vlogged a lot of it because I had to do so much sanding and I didn't want it, didn't want it to get in the uh, the lens of the camera. So if you look on there, look at that. But there we are. 
let's see how it sets hi welcome back this is a couple of days later it has dried it moves it's a bit stiff when you first open it but it works i'm just going to sand it in a couple of places especially around here because these dowlings need to be straight mine aren't but not too bothered about that um but yeah there it is um i'm gonna cut this off i'm just gonna put a ridge on hopefully if i can find one and then paint it and then what i have done as well is i've cut out all the letters so i'm just gonna put them on as vinyl i didn't have to make it like a new board or try and replicate the used board so i think i'm going to go for a used board so wish me luck i can't film this bit cutting because i can't have the sawdust getting into the camera so you will see me in seconds so i have cut that it's not straight but it's straighter than what i usually cut so all is good Just put that over there I've got some doweling and I'm going to put that on there because if you look at the picture get it it has a doweling on the top I did cut this one by hand but it just wasn't thin enough so I've just got that from the garden and yeah I'm going to glue that on there might put a couple of pins in it as well so there we are Okay, so the board is done for now um, I needed this right in here so I've done it on the Cricut um, some of the lines came off there but I've got a spare copy as a backup so what we're gonna do is try and transfer these onto this uh, yeah, I'm just hoping for the best. Hoping it works.
so there's the front I'm still thinking about aging it so it's aged a bit like that so I might just do that and then on the back we might have some of these but I am going to spray this just to seal the vinyl on um, right need a black pen need a black pen it's done it's done it's done I haven't aged it because after I've done it I thought I like it as it is so I haven't aged it excuse the greasy hair but there we are right so all I've had to go on is pictures and pictures so after lots of problems um, we've done it might not be perfect but guess what it's done it'll do me I've put a sealer on it is that dry? I don't think the sealer's dry there it is my jaws clapperboard um, yeah I'm glad with the results I think if I made another one I'd know how to make it a bit better I'm impressed to say some of this is just like bits of spare wood as well this is me just jumping in so the original one was so the original board was 12 and a half mine is a tiny bit over so that's not bad for my first make I'm well impressed um but yes very impressed with how it's ended up so i hope you enjoy this vlog or you enjoyed it um have a go make yourself a, a little jaws clapper board i can't hold it right because it's drying still so yes impressed if you like this vlog please give it a thumbs up a like a share if you haven't already please subscribe and um yeah for now um if you haven't already please go and uh, follow our instagram join us on facebook where we all have a little group about what what film you're watching what day out you're doing you know a bit of everything just a place for friends to go and have a laugh have a laugh but yeah for now George Clapperboard, done.